unto the Lord, for he is good, mm -hmm. for his mercy endureth forever. Blessed be the name of the Lord from this time forth and forevermore. Good morning and a happy Sunday. To you. To you. And to you. <laughs> I am Minister Sharon Doppelsgans. And I'm Minister Nicolin Stevenson. On behalf of our founder, our international presiding bishop and general overseer, Bishop Dr. Delford Davis, and his lovely wife, our international first lady minister, Dr. Petrova Davis, our senior assistant pastor, the Reverend Isilda Notman, the international executive management council ministers, and the entire power of faith family, welcome to our Sunday morning live worship service. Oh, yes. We are beaming to you from the Power of Faith Ministries International Headquarters, located in the heart of the Sunshine City of Portmore, St. Catherine, Jamaica, West Indies. Wherever we find you this day. Be it PFM Family TV. Yes, Facebook PFM Live. Or our YouTube handle, Apostle Bishop Dr. Delford Davis. We thank God that you have chosen to worship with us in this, our youth Sunday service. Oh, yes. And youth, you are as young as you feel. So it doesn't matter your age. Welcome to Youth Sunday service. Every fourth Sunday is presented under the auspices of the youth department. And today we have two awesome sessions lined up for you. The first being now, then later at 6.30 p.m. We return for our night service. Please remember, we only have one morning yes. worship service yeah. on Sunday, and it commences at 7 a.m. Our phone line, 876-988-7638, is open, and it's available. You can call in your prayer requests any time during the service. Someone will be available to take your call. You may also make your requests on the Facebook and the YouTube chat. Come, let's go. The table is spread. The meal is ready yes. for you to come yes. and feast. Oh, yes. So stay tuned. Mm -hmm. Further announcements and reminders when we return. Yes. So let's go feast at the Master's table. In our youth's Sunday service. Praise God. I will rejoice. I will rejoice, I will rejoice for He. Shout hallelujah in the house this morning. Shout hallelujah in the house this morning. Shout hallelujah in the house of the Lord this morning. Hallelujah to the name of Jesus. And so we just bless the name of the Lord this morning. And we're just here to worship him this morning. And give him all honor. All glory and all praise. the name of the Lord. Lord, you are, you are worthy. And no one can worship you for me. Save for all the
receive, receive my worship, all of my worship, say King of glory, fill this place, I just want to be Just want to be with you. Somebody say, King of Glory. King of Glory. Fill this place. I just want to be with you. I just want to be with you, Lord. I just want to be with you. Yes, the world.
God. Hallelujah. We worship you, Lord, this morning. Oh, God, we honor your presence this morning. There is something about his name this morning. songbook when Israel out of bondage came
Though the billows dash and spray, we don't hungry then we will push ahead glory to god and roll the seas away will you be pushing ahead this morning hallelujah we will be pushing ahead glory to god hallelujah glory to god hallelujah praise god praise god we'll be singing the prior refrain spirit of the living god and while we're singing glory to god you can make your way to the altar. We will be praying. Hallelujah. 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 Glory to God. Hallelujah. Jesus. this morning hallelujah together oh god we worship you this morning we adore your presence this morning oh god father we lift our hands in worship this morning because god you are worthy of our praise you are worthy of our adoration you are worthy god of all that is good from us Oh God Almighty, we understand, oh God, that we were made to worship you, oh God. And not just to worship you, Father, but to worship you in spirit and in truth. Life giver, this morning we praise you. Restorer, this morning we magnify your name. Mighty God, Alpha and Omega, the everlasting Father, maker of heaven and earth, our bridge over troubled water our mighty God you are so mighty in all your ways God Almighty you are the everlasting father our Lamb of God this morning our forerunner our great high priest this morning our king of hold working excellently in all your ways this morning father we worship you God we are in total surrender this morning we are surrendering to your ways this this morning because your ways are good oh God Almighty we surrender to you this morning oh God keep us at your right hand today oh God where there are pledges forevermore oh God what fellowship divine this morning we are yours oh God and you are ours father we run into you this morning oh God because you are safe this morning our hope oh God our trust mighty God is in you this morning 
Oh God, take control this morning, Lord. Let your will be done this morning. Oh God Almighty, over, over us this morning. Over us, the congregation this morning. Those who are in virtual space this morning, oh God. Wherever they are this morning, over, over them this morning. Those who are on their way, over, over them this morning. Father, I pray, God Almighty, that you may tabernacle with us today, oh God. Send forth your fire, God, upon us this morning. Fire us up together this morning. Bring forth, God Almighty, a special anointing on us this morning. Oh, God Almighty, we need your fire again, Lord. Refresh us this morning, oh God. Lord, we are here, God, in need of a refreshing God. Every day, God, we are in need of a refreshing. Oh, God Almighty, we know, God, that it's not any good in us, God, why we are here this morning. But, God Almighty, it's because of your grace. It's because of your mercy. Why we are not God soon this morning glory to God God Almighty sanctify us again Lord sanctify God what is spoiled within us sanctify you God what make us sad this morning purify us God wash us with the fuller soul refine us God with the refiner's fire glory to God this morning Oh God, we are in youth Sunday, God. Where the youths are stepping up this morning, oh God. I pray for every youth, God, in this sanctuary. I pray for the youths in virtual space. I pray for the youths in Jamaica land we love. And as an educator, God, I recognize, God, that our children are under attack. But God Almighty, you can match the enemy this morning. Tear down God every distracting spirit that may be God and letting them God Almighty distract from your word God Almighty let them not God believe that they God are limits to the enemy God but let them God move forward in Christ this morning oh God Almighty I pray God that they will continue God to put their foot firm and grounded in your word this morning I pray God that as you use them God they will realize God that they too were made God to worship you oh God Almighty strengthen our children God anoint our children God keep them safe God Almighty under the shadow of your anointing God cover them God be the rock be the edge be the fence around them in the mighty name of Jesus God Almighty, our children are distracted and confused, but mighty God, we place them in your hands, oh God. Lord God Almighty, this morning, God, as we are here together worshiping, I pray, God, for your renewed fire upon the congregation, upon the musicians, upon the prior workers, oh God, the ushers, God, your ministers, elders, God, your fervent leaders this morning, together, God, Lord God Almighty, take control, God Almighty, of this service. This is your service, God. Let your will be done, God, and we'll be sure to give you the glory. God, we will give you the honor and we'll give you the praise in Jesus name hallelujah glory to God hallelujah worship him this morning give him all the praise this morning oh God we adore your presence God we worship you this morning praise God father we give you thanks God we give you praise this morning we worship you hallelujah glory to God Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. We are in Youth Sunday this morning where our youths are stepping off. Welcome to another Sunday morning this morning. Put your hands together for yourself for being here. Glory to God. Jesus. Jesus. Hallelujah. Jesus, hallelujah. Jesus, hallelujah. 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 Jesus. Our scripture reading will be taken from Jeremiah 23, 
verses 9 to 32. Glory to God. Jeremiah 23, verses 9 to 32. Jesus. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Jesus. Jesus. And it reads, My heart within me is broken because of the prophets. All my bones shake. I am like a drunken man, and like a man whom wine hath overcome because of the Lord, and because of the words of his holiness. For the land is full of adulterers, for because of swearing the land mourn it. The pleasant places of his wilderness are dried up, and their course is evil, and their force is not right. For both prophet and priest are profane. Yea, in my house I have found their wickedness, saith the Lord. Wherefore their way shall be unto them as sleepy ways in the darkness. They shall be driven on and fall therein. For I will bring evil upon them, even the year of their visitation, saith the Lord. And I have seen folly in the prophets of Samaria. They prophesied in Baal and caused my people Israel to err. I have seen also in the prophets of Jerusalem a horrible thing. They commit adultery and walk in lies. They strengthen also the hands of evildoers and that do it return from his wickedness. They are all of them unto me as Sodom and the inhabitants thereof as Gomorrah. Therefore, thus said the Lord of hosts concerning the prophets, Behold, I will feed them with warm wormwood and make them drink the water of God. For from the prophets of Jerusalem is profaneness gone forth into all the land. Thus said the Lord of hosts, Hearken not unto the words of the prophets that prophesy unto you. They make you vain. They speak of vision in their own heart and not out of the mouth of the Lord. They shall steal unto them that despise me. The Lord hath said, he shall have peace. And they say unto everyone that walketh after the imagination of his own heart, no evil shall come upon you. For who had stood in the counsel of the Lord and had perceived and heard his word, who had marked his word and heard it? Behold, a whirlwind of the Lord is gone forth in fury, even a grievous whirlwind. It shall fall grievously upon the head of the wicked. The anger of the Lord shall not return until he has executed, until he has performed the thoughts of his heart. In the latter days, ye shall consider it perfectly. I have not seen these prophets, yet they ran. I have not spoken to them, yet they prophesied. If they had stood in my counsel, and they had caused my people to hear my words, then they should have turned them from their evil way, and from the evil of their doings. I, am I a God at hand, said the Lord, and not a God afar off? Can any hide himself in secret places that I shall not see him? Said the Lord. Do not I feel heaven and earth? Says the Lord. I have heard what the prophet said. That prophesies lies in my name. Saying, I have dreamed. I have dreamed. How long shall this be in the heart of the prophets that prophesy lies? Yea, they are prophets of the deceit of their own hearts which think to cause my people to forget my name in their dreams, which they tell every man to his neighbor, as their fathers have forgotten my name for burial. The prophet had a dream. Let him tell a dream. And he that had a word, let him speak my word faithfully. What is the chaff to the wheat, says the Lord? Is not my word like a fire, said the Lord? And like a hammer 
that breaketh the rock in pieces? Therefore, behold, I am against the prophets, says the Lord, that steal my words, every one from its neighbor. Behold, I am against the prophets, says the Lord, that use their tongue and say, he said. Behold, I am against them that prophesy false dreams, says the Lord, and do tell them and cause my people to err in their lives and by their likeness. Yet I sent them not, nor command them. Therefore, they shall not profit his people at all, said the Lord. Glory to God. Glory to God. God has spoken. Let the church say, Amen. The Lord has spoken. Let the church say, Amen. The Lord has spoken. Let the church say, Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. At this time, we will receive the choir ministry of the kiddies in praise. But before they come, I want to welcome the man and woman of God, our bishop, Daddy Bishop Davis, and Minister Davis. Put your hands together for them. They are doing a great job. I welcome you all to this service this morning. Sit and worship and stay prayerful. Welcome. The choir ministry of the kids in praise. Shall we praise the Lord? Shall we praise the Lord? Bless God. This morning, the kid is in praise. We are here to remind you that Jesus is coming again and he's coming soon so be ready tell your neighbor be ready because Jesus is coming soon is that amen? amen put your hands together for Jesus this morning yes, Lord.
extra. Read all about it. Jesus is coming back again. Do you believe he's coming back again? Do you believe he's coming back again? Hallelujah. Read all about it. Anywhere in the news, on the in anywhere, read all about it. Jesus is coming back again. Glory to God. At this time, we will receive the welcome and acknowledgement by Sister Rowena Small. Good morning, everyone. It is truly a wonderful feeling to be in the presence of the Lord. We are so grateful to the Almighty God for this, our youth Sunday morning worship service. Indeed, we are truly blessed and thankful to be celebrating this, our youth Sunday with you all. According to Isaiah 40, verse 29 to 31, and to those who have no might, he increases strength. Even the youth shall faint and be weary, and the young men shall utterly fall. But those who wait on the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings like eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. As we continue on PFMI Flight 040, nonstop for many years, I just want you to give your neighbor a PFMI 40th anniversary smile. Tell them I am happy to see you this morning. Keep your seatbelts fast. We here at the Power of Faith Ministries International are giving God thanks for this great ministry founded by our captain and chief shepherds, Bishop Dr. Delford Davis and Minister Dr. Petrova Davis. We give God thanks for them in a very special way. We thank you, sir, madam, for investing in us and allowing us, the youth, to serve in the various ways in this outstanding ministry. Kindly put your hands together for our founders, two precious souls. God's coverage be yours always. We thank God also for our assistant pastor, Minister Isilda Notman, as we continue to pray for her speedy recovery. Welcome to our dedicated ministers, officers, members, viewers, and browsers who deemed it a pleasure to be here or tune in to this, our Sunday morning live service. It gives me great pleasure to officially welcome our visitors that are here in the sanctuary or those viewing or browsing for the first or second time. A special welcome to the Progressive Strikers Sports Club. They are here with us this morning celebrating their 38th anniversary. Whether this is your first time with us or you are a regular attendee, we want you to know how grateful we are to have you here with us on this, our youth Sunday morning service. We trust that you will enjoy the service while experiencing the wonderful presence of the Lord. Our founders, presiding Bishop Dr. Delford Davis, our spiritual mother, Minister Dr. Petrova Davis, our senior assistant pastor, Reverend Isilda Notman, the youth department led by Minister Lamar Spencer, the ministerial staff, PFM family members, kindly join with me this morning in extending a warm and heartfelt welcome to all our visitors, our viewers on Flow Cable Network, PFM channel 672 and 602, Digital Play channel 20, Instagram, YouTube, and our browsers via the internet www.pfmfamily.org Being a young Christian today is something truly incredible. In the middle of a dark and troubled world, youth, remember, we must be the light. So let us shine brightly and illuminate the way for others to Christ. As the scripture teaches, train up a child in the way he should go. 
and when he is old, he will not depart from it. I truly thank God for all our leaders, our parents, our teachers, and our friends. Youth all around, I just want us all to remember 1 Timothy 4, verse 12. Let no man despise thy youth, but be thou an example to the believers, in word, in conversation, in charity, in spirit, in faith, and in purity. Be bold and trust God in all your endeavors. Never be intimidated because of things you will face. Just know that there is no life without challenges. Just believe the word of God which says, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Let us just continue to love God, trust God, have faith in God, and he will grant us our heart's desire. Congregation, please put your hands together and welcome our visitors, viewers, and browsers. God bless you all. Enjoy the rest of this, our youth service. Glory to God. Put your hands together for a way now. Glory to God. Our youths are stepping up. I know convention is gone, but they are still stepping up. Are you stepping up youths this morning? Let me hear the youths in the house say hallelujah. hallelujah. You would say hallelujah. hallelujah. Glory to God. At this time, we will read greetings. We will receive greetings from Mr. Bassa Taylor, president of Progressive Strike Sports Club. It's their 30th anniversary, 38th anniversary. Put your hands together for them. Good morning, church. Dr. Davis. Special thanks to Dr. Davis and his wife. We have been associated for a number of years. I think we, I know it, each other from we are in East Royal St. Andrew. They will come to Portmore. No, I'm... Um, as president of Progress Strikers Sports Club, I'm also, like the, Dr. Davis, a founder of the club. Um, for 38 years, we have been operating in, from between Waterford and Independent City. Our club is not a sport, just a sports club, but a sports and community club, which means we involve in a lot of sports and, like the church, a lot of outreach programs for youth and community development. Today, uh, we are celebrating our 30th anniversary, just too shy of the ministry here. <laughs> the, the ministry here was founded in 1983, and we were founded in 1985 in the Independence the Early School. We have grown and we have fluctuated, but we are holding strong and firm. I just want to thank the members of the ministry for allowing us the opportunity to worship with you. And this is not our final time. Yes. Right. <laughs> the church has been a shepherd to some of our past members and present members. And we will continue to serve the community like the church and reach out to all youths across Portmore to ensure that they are guided properly. All right? Thank you, and we meet again. Thank you. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. At this time, the silent worshipers will come to give us their ministry. But while they are coming, we'll sing. Jesus build a fence all around me every day. Jesus, I want you to protect me as I travel along life's way. Lord, I know you can. Lord, I know you will. Find my battle if I just be still. Build a fence all around me every day. Put your hands together. Jesus build a fence.
me shall never prosper, no. to God. Glory to God. They have been stepping up and continue to step up. Put your hands together for the silent worshipers. Glory to God. It was my pleasure serving you this morning. Hallelujah. But as I leave, I leave a word with you. Stay prayerful and keep worshiping. Worship the Lord your God. It is he who will deliver you from the hand of your enemy. If you feel your throne in the fire remember that God will serve he is able to deliver us from it the Lord is able to match your enemy where there's four horn he will send your four carpenters where there is Jezebel he will send your Jehu where there is Goliath there is David where there is Haman there is Mordecai so stay prayerful this morning stay in the spirit Glory to God. He answers prayer. Hallelujah. Praise God. So the next ministry is the ministry of my choir, Echoes of Faith. And after they have finished ministered, please welcome Daddy Bishop, 
the man servant of this great ministry. Be prayerful with him and pray for him. God bless you all. Have a good service. Continue to worship. Continue to pray. There's something for you in this service. God bless you all.
Jesus. Praise your name. now be mindful of those of our brothers and sisters who are not able to be with us in this physical worship space this morning and let's lift up a prayer for them at this time Father, we thank you for your blessings being poured out upon us. We thank you for the Holy Spirit tabernacling with us, energizing and empowering our worship, bringing hope and inspiration 
and healing to those who are sick. We are mindful of the regulars who would be among us this morning. But are not here due to circumstances against them. We lift them up to you. We lift up our minister. I still the notes man. Tuned in I, I suppose. I ask you to continue to pour the oil and wine. In her right now. May the woman of God be raised up to stand on her mountain. May she be raised up to walk on her stormy seas. Make her stronger than she even thought she could be. We lift up Elder Ashna level to you. We long to see him in this sanctuary. Playing and singing and worshiping you. Continue the work that you have begun in his body from head to toes. Gracious God, you are able to do it. So do it for them this morning. We lift up Beacon Brown, Denzel Brown. Would have been here singing with the voices when they sing. Touch him from head to toes. <laughs> Oh God Almighty, minister to him right now. Let the oil of your presence flow upon him. In the name of Jesus Christ. We lift up all the others to you. You know them. We lift up exhort a prudence McFarlane to you. Oh God Almighty, continue to touch her and strengthen her. Jesus, we look to you. Because you're the one who is able to do exceeding abundantly. Above all that we may ask or think by your mighty power. Jesus. Raise your hand everybody. All the other saints, oh God. Across this island. Across the world who are afflicted. Physically, spiritually, emotionally financially maritally whatever way they're afflicted oh god we reach out to them now especially those who are struggling really struggling reach out and touch them now reach out and touch the brady's family greg great brady and his family touch them Oh God, you alone can do what no other can do. So please show yourself strong and mighty. You who brought down the walls of Jericho. You who divided the Red Sea and dried up the Jordan. What is it that is impossible for you? Nothing is impossible as we put our trust in God. Hey, glory to God. Stretch out your mighty hand. Let somebody feel the healing touch. Shanda koseto rababa. Rama koshindo robosetia. Jesus. Oh God. Jesus. You remember that pastor who is standing in the pulpit this morning across the nations grant O oh lord that your word will go forth with power to set people free we bless this congregation again we bless them for a wonderful week ahead a successful week a safe week a sanctified week a week of divine favors and blessings. A week for open doors. A week when everything that ought to be bound will be bound. That which is to be loosed will be loosed. In the name of Jesus. We thank you for hearing us. In Jesus' name. Lift up your hands and give God praise.
Give him praise in the house. Give him praise in the house. Jesus. 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 There is just something about your name. You're my master. You're my savior. All the kings and the kingdoms shall pass away. But there is something about your name. God bless you. Be seated, please. My goodness. Welcome to God's house with God's people. The best place you could be today is in a place like this, wherever these gatherings are. The Jamaica Baptist Union or the National Arena celebrating their many years of ministry to Jamaica. And the regions, may God bless them. And all the churches that have gathered, well, this is early hour in the morning. Some of our are not gathered as yet, but when they do, may God bless them. Amen. 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 Rowena Small, give her a hand. Wonderful welcome. And we appreciate the progressive strike. What is this now? Progressive strike sports club. Okay. Bless you, sir. Where are the gentlemen and ladies? Are they here? Or are they only represented by the leader? Stand up and let's see those of you are here. Some years ago, I was your, your chaplain. Usually sponsor you. Where are the others? All right. Good to see you. The Lord bless you. Keep up your good work, sir. 38 years is a long time to be leading any charge. Oh, you're not with me. All right. <laughs> Where are those who got baptized on yesterday morning? God is good. 72 men and women. Those who are here, stand up, please. Let's see where you are. My goodness, 72 brand new souls baptized in water, calling on the name of the Lord. The Lord bless you. Thank you. Be seated, please. God is moving by his spirit. He's moving in all the earth. Exhorter Anjanette Francis, she did a good job. She grew this morning. Yeah, she, she grew this morning in stature. Bless her heart in ministry for sure. Amen. We bless the Lord for everybody. You and you and all of you. A sister from Connecticut, where are you sitting the Lord bless you. Good to have you. Enjoy the worship with us. And we are thanking God for you. Our dear sister Cynthia Thomas. The Lord is good. Amen. Amen. Two more things and I get to the message hopefully. But I don't know how I'm going to preach this message this morning. I don't know. When you listen to reading of Jeremiah chapter 23. I don't know. God, no, I don't know. All four or five weeks we've been talking about sheep. And find the sheep, feed the sheep. Now I'm impressed, impelled to talk about shepherds and hirelings. Dear God. 
I don't know. But the text speaks to all of those. So we'll see what happens by the help of the Lord. Okay, please remember the prayer breakfast for the missionary, missionaries council. The tickets are available, so get yours. It's going to be a wonderful breakfast. Yeah. Is, is love you love food, huh? Yeah, come on. Shout out. It'll be a wonderful breakfast, okay? So get, get your ticket. <laughs> Missionary Mary. Vivia Anderson Mary. I remember your name. Wonderful. All right, I got two special announcements I said I would make this morning. Kingdom International University in Orlando, Florida will confer the honorable, well, honorary, honorary, Doctor of Divinity degree, DD, on Bishop Howard James Grandison. <laughs> on Sunday the 12th of March, right there in the Bog Walk Assembly, in keeping with their many years anniversary celebration, Kingdom International University, Doctor of Divinity, Bishop Howard James Grandison, to be conferred on that day. And of course, I may be personal to say that this is on my personal recommendation. There are two universities that have asked me to look for credible person on which they can confer honorary degrees. Uh, one is in New York. This is in Florida. I have not attended upon it much, in all fairness, because for different reasons. But I thought at this time, Bishop Grandison being a long-serving uh, minister, don't have many more years in ministry like myself either. So he will, when the day comes for him to demit office, before that day comes, we want to honor him in this way. Amen. Amen. So that will be done. So if you want an honorary doctorate, you can talk to me, okay? I can recommend you. <laughs> Boy, when you're blessed, you're blessed. Oh, yeah. And the second one is Jamaica Gazette Extraordinary. Uh, it says, Government Notice. The Honorable Prime Minister, in accordance with Section 5 of the Marriage Act, appoint the following Minister of Religion as Marriage Officer, Michael Norman Mirage. <laughs> That's you, sir? Okay. Wonderful. Well, I can't say I have anything to do with this, okay? <laughs> Absolutely nothing to do with this. All I did was furnish some basic church information. Amen? Amen. But we're happy for you, marriage officer. Amen. Welcome to the club. Bless you. Bless your heart. Evangelist Andre Mathan Brown. Bronx Assembly. Give him a hand, please. Good to have you passing through. Now, finally, finally, Tiana, is Tiana here? Tiana Peterkin? Where are you, Tiana? Find her for me, please. 
I need Tiana to read something for me. Minister, where is your daughter? <laughs> All right. I hope she, she makes it. I want her to read something for all of us. And that would be wonderful if we get her to do so. But we had wonderful meetings with Minister Maraj, Minister Maverick Daly, Elder Antonio Morrison, Minister Lamar Leander Spencer, and Minister Andrew Brown. Give them all a hand, please. <laughs> Gentlemen, it's in my heart to pray with you. So come stand down here. Uh, the Holy Spirit said that to me. So let me just obey. Come stand here. You took the, the charge, the challenge to preach. Where's Minister Spencer? He's not here. To preach Sunday night, Wednesday night, Friday night. Maybe it's some of your first time in doing that kind of a ministry. Why don't you run and ask the Lord to bless them? Yes, yeah, let's pray. Father, we commit to you these vessels that you have used to have ministered, O oh God, over the last weeks. We thank you for your faithfulness. We thank you for the sacrifices that were involved. We thank you for the preparations they had to make, O oh God. And we thank you for the way that you have used them. Continue to use and bless them. Let their ministry grow from strength to strength. In the name of Jesus Christ, take them into Ezekiel's water. O oh God, the stream in which they will plunge. And be completely lost in you. In the name of Jesus. We pronounce that blessing upon them. And pray that you will always be glorified. In and through their lives. And ministry. Thank you for using them. Thank you for their families. The sacrifices. The wives and the children. Oh God. They too were part of this. Bless them in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. God bless you. Thank you. Did we find Tiana? How are you? Bring her a microphone for me. You're going to read something for me, okay? Your father is my son. Your mother is my daughter. So you are my granddaughter, okay? Read, read this for us, Diana. My wonderful pastor. My pastor is wonderful because he is a good man. He has a great personality. His sense of humor is great. He always makes me laugh. My pastor is always happy to help someone in need. All of these things make my pastor who he is. Bishop, we all love you and thank you for being a great person in, in the church. Happy birthday. I love you. Thank you. She wrote this for a wonderful pastor. Now let me say something very very critical, maybe cynical also. Parents at home, I know without a doubt that if the Peter Kings criticize me, they do not do it in the hearing of the children. That's the best way to say it. If they criticize me at home, they do not do so in the hearing of the children. No way would Tiana write that if she had heard her parents cutting and cooking and stewing and frying and roasting and steaming the pastor. 
You better be careful what you say around the children concerning your church people. Amen. I see some of your children and they just give me the look. I say, yeah. Mm -hmm. I know what's happening. All right, enough of those trivialities. Let us pray. Father, bless your words to our hearts. Holy Spirit, we ask you to lead and guide us. Grant that as we seek to communicate the truth of your words, your people will be blessed. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. The text of Jeremiah chapter 23, 9, verse 9 through 32, that text was read. And I am not actually going to that text. If you bear in mind what the reading was, maybe we'll reflect on it as we go. It is a background reading to that which our Lord speaks in John chapter 10, that text that we have been looking at for the last few weeks. He says from verse 12 through 14 in John chapter 10, he says, But he that is an hireling and not the shepherd, Whose own, whose own the sheep are not, seeth the wolf coming, and leaveth the sheep and fleeth, and the wolf catcheth them and scattereth them. The hireling fleeth because he is an hireling and not, and careth not for the sheep. I am the good shepherd. I know my sheep, and I'm known of my sheep. But the real, real preaching portion from which the theme comes, it's way over in 1 Thessalonians chapter 5 and verse 12. And I hope I'm not confusing you to all of these scriptures. 1 Thessalonians chapter 5 and verse 12. Paul says, brethren, we beg you, what do you beg us to do? To know them which labor among you. We beseech you, brethren, to know them which labor among you. And I want you to take your time and follow me in this message. You know. Know them that labor among you. Jeremiah 23 speaks of God's rejection of many persons who stand over sheep as prophets. If you remember that reading. God says, I did not send them. They spoke out of their own hearts. I don't know them. They destroy flocks. They were not of my own heart. And then Jesus in John 10 here tells us that they, they did all of that because they are not shepherds. They are hireling. And there is a vast difference between a true shepherd and a hireling. So know them that labor among you. Are you being led by a hireling? Or are you being led by a shepherd? And this is the reason I'm saying it's difficult for me to preach this message. Because as a preacher myself, there are those of you who might say, from your perspective, you have seen some hireling disposition in me. Maybe you can say that. The others who will say, I have seen true shepherd manifestation in you. It is subjective based on which angle you look from or which lens you see through. 
Somebody can look at this pulpit and say it is yellow because they choose to say so, but others would give it the proper color. Are you with me? People say things and do things based on the frame, the mind frame that they're in and how they think of you. You don't have to be a terrible person for somebody to paint you with terrible colors. But just because that's the way they want to do it, they do it. And you could be the worst of person. But because to them you are their friends, their ally, they make you the best of person. I don't have to go down the street of the Dons. The many dons that have run Jamaica over the many decades. And tell you people's perspective of some of those dons. In as much as some of those men were ruthless men. They send for your daughter and you got to send your daughter. They plunder wherever they want to plunder. But still many people in communities hail them as Heroes. Are you not with me? Somebody say help us Lord. So the real theme is know them that labor among you. And the sub theme is hireling our shepherd. Hireling our shepherd. And this could bring some negative implications to some of us as pastors. But really, it's not intended. The word of God will straighten us out. Can you say amen? amen? This message will not be among the and clapping, feet stamping, tongue talking, body rocking, shouting, dancing messages. It will not be among those messages. So some of you already may not, will not enjoy this message to any great extent. But if you love the word of God, you'll enjoy what God says. Somebody give him praise. So under the general theme, which comes from 1 Thessalonians 5, 12, we state, know them that labor among you. Coming from John 10, 11 to 14, where Jesus states that there are hireling and there are shepherds. Who are over his flock. Jesus states categorically. That it is not only shepherds that are over sheep. Hirelings are over sheep also. Somebody should say something there. Dear God. When you think of the advantages of having a true shepherd. And Jesus presented himself as that true shepherd. He presented himself as the one who is the model for us to follow. And Paul goes on to say, you see how I follow Christ? Follow me accordingly. Are you not with me here? So Jesus said, hear, hear me, brethren, there are true shepherds, there are false shepherds, and there are hirelings. Hirelings. And it is sad to say that there are congregations of people across the nations today who are under the leadership of a hireling. Oh, no. Somebody say, help us, Lord. Under the spiritual leadership of hirelings. And that is the reason why some of the terrible things happen in some communities of faith today. Because we do not have persons who are connected to the true vine. We do not have persons who have the heart of God ministering to God's people. We do not have everybody called of God, set apart by the Holy Spirit. We have those who were sent on that mission. And we have others who just went on the mission. Dear God, Bishop, how do we know the difference? 
We love God. We love our church. We love Christianity. How do we differentiate between a true shepherd and the hireling? Dear God, if we are going to make the differentiation, we've got to do it through the knowledge of the word. That's the reason you can't just be a shouting, dancing, singing, kicking down the bench, Christian. You must be a word-grounded believer. Somebody say something behind me here. You got to be a word-grounded believer. It is a word that brings out the truth that God wants us to know. Hallelujah. Give him praise in this house. So Jesus says, I repeat, not only shepherd, but they are hirelings that are over the sheep. Hireling. A person who works only for the pay. Only for the money. That's one of the definitions of a hireling. It went further to say that person is comparable to a mercenary one that does terrible things in order to profit. A mercenary. It doesn't matter what they do from the very fact that they are profiting, they are gaining, that's it. And I hate to say that we have some of those tricks and gimmicks in our churches today. In the name of God. Somebody help pray me through this now, please. Not easy. A mercenary in God's church. From the moment it is to my advantage, from the moment I'm gaining, from the moment I'm profiting, it doesn't matter what happens. Bring me the tides and live anyhow. Sow your seed faith and live like the devil. Once you bring the money in. Does it make a difference? That's an erroneous doctrine from hell. You don't hear any emphasis on holiness without which no man shall see God. You don't hear a message on come out from among them. Be separate, said the Lord. Touch not the unclean thing and I will receive you. Don't hear that. You don't hear a message that if any man be in Christ, he's a new creature. All things are passed away and be old. Maybe I'm to say all oh, things. Hear that message. Check our, oh no. All right, let's leave that, okay? You don't hear them stuff. So, works for the money, works for the pay, with little or no concern for the value of the work. Heart not in it. No value. No heart is in it. No sacrifice is being made. Oh, Jesus. A mercenary. Hallelujah. Serving for pay only. And even doing things that are unpleasant. Once I profit. Once I gain. That's all right. I've heard a lot of stories. Because of where I sit, where I stand, from where I work. I've heard a lot of stories from Christian people from all denominations. And maybe some of you go to others and tell them about this denomination. That's your choice. But hear me. The final arbiter, the final judge is the Lord God Almighty. He, say, he, say, he says, make everybody go on. Let everybody go on. Let all choir members sing. The adulterers and the fornicators and the lesbian and the homosexual and the prostitute. Let everybody sing. Let everybody preach. Paul said, leave them. Well, you're 
not with me. Let him go on. The fight, no, me not fight nobody anymore. Do your thing as you feel like. But know this one thing. The one day God shall bring every man into just judgment. Somebody help me pray this message out of my soul. Do you think if church gets into the fight with people these days, all kind of bongarang? Because everybody have a philosophy, everybody have a theology, everybody have a certain belief. And some of them are far from the word of God. We're going to preach the word. No fight no prior warriors. No fight no ministers. No fight no elder, no deacon, no, no, no fight anybody. If you know I'm no sense, you act like you know I'm no sense. But we know you have sense. I know that you know right from wrong. I know you know good from evil. I know you know holiness from sinfulness. Go on. Touch your neighbor and tell them, go on, go on, go on, go on. Come on, tell them, go on. Do your thing. Those who are on the Lord's side, stay on the Lord's side. God help me. Those who are on the devil's side, stay there. Stay there. Moses said to Israel one day, he said, hear me, I set before you two ways. I mean, I'll fight you if you choose anything. Then I'm only instructing you, advising you. I set before your life. I set before your death. I set before your good. I set before your evil. Choose life. Lift your hand and say, I choose life. I choose good. Oh my God. Somebody praise God in this house. Praise him until you feel it. Praise and praise him until you feel it. Shanda kosatama. Eyaborobo sandaria koshata. Thank you Holy Ghost. Yeah. We don't we don't need to define the good shepherd, the true shepherd. Jesus makes it plain when you read John chapter 10. And for the last four or five weeks, we've been going through that. He says, I am the good shepherd. I know my sheep. I'm known by my sheep. I give my life for my sheep. And he said, I even have some other sheep that you don't know. I'm going to bring them in. And when I bring them in, there will be one shepherd, one fold. Some people think there are many, well, 12 gates to the city, the new Jerusalem. 12 gates of the 12 apostles. But hear me, everybody who will go through those gates must be holy people. Give him praise and glory. Dear God Almighty. Uh, let's see if we can continue this a little. Sit down and be comfortable. Okay, if you can. So, John 10, 1 through 18 is very clear. The difference is obvious, but it is mind-boggling. It is obvious, but it's mind-boggling. Oh, could two people performing the same job and one is so real and the other is so unreal and both of them are getting along? Are you not with me? I said it again. It is obvious, but it's mind-boggling. How can two people performing the same job, one is so real, the other is so unreal, but both of them are getting along. People following them, listening to them, running after them. Is it that we have no discernment anymore? Is it that there's no discernment? on earth 
Do we not learn to reject the wrong and accept the right? How is it? So, Jesus, John, Jeremiah, and Ezekiel, if I can get to them before my time runs out, they will speak to us concerning both the hireling and the shepherd. Are you with me? Lift your hand and say, speak to me, Lord. Speak to Lord. Yeah. He can tell us about both. Because you and I struggle sometimes to differentiate. Because Lord Jesus, you talk about bad name, people give you a bad name. Make the Holy Ghost tell you about receiving bad name. The Holy Ghost received the most bad name on earth. Huh? People do all kind of something and say it's the Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost a million miles from those behaviors and action. The man we stand up on his head, gymnastics turn up on his head in the church. And say it's the Holy Ghost and people say yeah and shout and rail. In Jamaica, one of our parishes, a man preacher stand up in the pulpit and said, you see, I don't use a Bible. And the church say, yeah. Thunderous applause. I don't use a Bible. I don't need the Bible. Every Bible I read of all kind of crosses in there. I don't deal with crosses. To thunderous applaud. In Jamaica. Dear God. Somebody say, help us, Lord. Mm. So, so, everyone who wants to lead in God's kingdom, first of all, must develop certain heart qualification. Everybody say heart qualification. Yeah. Wherever you think your heart is, lay your hand there and say heart qualification. There ain't nothing wrong with head qualification. There ain't nothing wrong to be a scholastic person and you, you can rockle everything from A to Z in the Queen's English. Impeccable, nothing wrong with that. And you have all the scholarships and the letters behind your name. But if you do not have heart qualification, you're not ready for ministry. God said the heart that is in mankind is deceitful and desperately wicked. Above all things, I have to do heart surgery. I have to take out that stony heart. I have to give your heart a flesh. I have to give my people, preachers, servants, pastors, after my own heart. Lift your hand and say, every servant of God needs the heart of God. Boy, if I'm not preaching, I don't know what I'm doing. We need the heart of God to lead God's people. Not university colleges and degrees and seminaries. No, it's the heart of God. Directed by the Holy Spirit. How can they hear without a preacher? And how can he preach except he be sent? Oh, Jesus. Somebody wave your hand and take a touch from heaven. Come on, wave your hand and say something. We're digging in something here this morning. This ain't no hand clapping, tongue talking, body rocking, shouting message. It's one to inform you, to identify that there are hirelings and not all are shepherds. Shepherd of God's heart who teach you the way of righteousness. The way of holiness. So heart qualifications. The image of the shepherd is best captured. Amen. It is captured when you see godliness. Everybody say godliness. 
Some of the hard qualifications is that leaders must be godly leaders. They must be tender hearted. They must be sincere. They must be loving. They must guide the people in the way of truth. They must correct people. They must instruct people. And when time comes to rebuke people, they must rebuke them in love, reprove them in love. Oh, some of you are going to take that. All oh, scripture is given by inspiration of God. And every scripture is profitable for rebuke, for reproof, for correction in righteousness. Everybody say righteousness. Woo! My God, the devil is a liar. The church is real. I don't care who make it look as though it's not real. It is real. Touch your neighbor and tell them it is real. Tell them holiness is real. Salvation is real. Hallelujah. Sanctification is real. So don't let the few misguided people in the church who are virgins have lamps but no oil. Say something, elders. You saw your gentlemen look sweet and nice and dignified. Make sure you have oil in your lamp, you know. Ella Rick is from New York. Bless you, sir. Make sure you have oil in your lamp. Because it's not just a big office of elder. And you walk around pushing on your chest, I'm an elder. Push up your spirit with your elder. Or you're not saying nothing. God, somebody help me preach this out here. Don't let the few misguided people in the church who are virgins and have lamp but no have no oil. Don't let them mess you up. Tell them go get oil in your lamp. Get the hard qualification and go get your oil. Mm -mm. The days will come when you can no longer depend on somebody's oil or somebody's lit candle to pilot you. You have to work out your own salvation with fear and trembling before God. Can you hear them kind of preaching you often these days? You don't hear them. Sit down, please. The so have to close. My God. Heart qualification. Godly leaders. Tender hearted. Sincere. Loving. Guide the people. Correct the people. Instruct the people. Reprove the people, rebuke the people, all in love because you want them to make it right with God. Give him praise. Now let me say something that I've said repeatedly, which some of you don't take serious. You see this pastor who have been leading you for all of these years? Any one of you of the right to sit me down respectfully and talk with me and ask me question and you think I'm going astray you can talk to me about it too yeah any one of you as members of this church is not only me watching over you you must watch over me too Oh, you know. You must watch over me too. You are my brother. You are my sister. Watch over me as I watch over you. The very way I have your interests at heart, you must have my interest at heart. The very same. 
I'm not the high and lofty bishop who sits up there on a pedestal. No, I'm a servant. Like everybody else. I just happened to occupy the office because God gave it to me. That's it. It doesn't make me better than anybody else. Better how? Well, Jesus, God, we need more time to dig in this. A hireling receives pay for his job, but has no heart for the job. No heart. And I don't want to say anything that, you know, will project me as this good shepherd. Oh, no. Uh, that's why I say it's difficult to preach this message. Are you with me, somebody? Yeah, but a hireling receives pay for the job he or she does. No heart for it. That's it. People could be dying all around them. That's it. Suffering people means nothing. All for themselves. I was listening to a message I preached some times ago. I think Minister Stevenson has it on here right now. And I make some statements about when God blesses the church, the Christian, he blesses everybody within that community in a particular way. And I went further to say, what's your name, sir? Neil Chambers, yeah. You think I don't know, all right. The Lord blesses him tomorrow morning and he begins to drive a Bentley, a Rolls Royce, as a Christian. And he's coming to church and sees some brethren coming his direction. As a good heart, loving Christian, I'm stopping Bentley and say, Come in, we have got the same church. Are you not saying nothing? Oh, yeah. If you can't do that, something wrong. I have said publicly that anytime you see me going your direction and you want to stop me and ask me for rights, stop me. Don't take it for granted that I see you. I recognize you. This morning, my vehicle parked from back to front. I could hardly sit down and pack up like sardine in there. <laughs> Are you not saying <laughs> Bishop, you and your wife come in the church on a Sunday morning. Man, you all so dignified. Look at your wife. Stand up, wifey. Stand up. And you stop to pick up all those folks. And put, why don't you and your wife just travel and talk and enjoy yourself? And I come to church, drive past them, boom. And then come and see me and I must preach to them. I know that I could have picked them up. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Wave your hand and say, oh no. So whenever God blesses a member of the body of Christ, by extension, if you have the heart of Christ, that blessing is for everybody. Everybody. Wave your hand and say, all of us. Jesus. So he receives pay for the work he does. The job, but has no heart for it. He watches out for the sheep until he has no longer, he can no longer benefit from the sheep. The moment he can no longer benefit, wolf can eat that one. You know, I pay in the tides again. You know, I bless the pastor again. <laughs> Where's the sister with a beautiful smile? I don't see her. See, oh, see her there. <laughs> Look at those teeth. Let me enjoy myself, you know. I said these days, my life is to make people happy. Tell you the truth that make you happy. So 
Oh, give me a chance, man. I love to see your beautiful smile. Don't leave the choir, okay? Always be there for me. <laughs> give him praise and glory. As long as they can benefit, as long as it is to their advantage, they will be there. But when you can't do nothing no more, our links are going to your business. But the shepherd is going to be there with a wounded sheep, with a bitten sheep, with a fallen sheep. It's going to pour in the oil. It's going to pour in the wine. It's going to look them up. God Almighty. Somebody praise God again. I'm, I'm coming down. Jesus. Mm. No heart for the sheep. Money is the mission only. Feeds himself and neglects the flock. Know them that labor among you. Know whose leadership you're under. Know whose influence are having bearing upon your life. Jesus, know them. Check the characteristics of those men and women. Do they have the heart of God as is stated in the scripture? I want to say this, I've said it before, I've said it many times without being too personal. Many years ago when a young man got himself in trouble with the law, serious crime, shooting with intent, robbery, aggravation, illegal possession of firearm, and tried and found guilty on all counts, only to be sentenced, going to court for sentencing. Brought it to my attention. Was in the church. I said dear God. What is this? This is a sheep. Pastor I'm sorry. You're not going to see me again. You know for a, long, for a while. So what you mean? I'm going to court to be sentenced. I intervened. I said who is your attorney? And I got the name of the attorney. I called the attorney. Powerful. Lady Barista, she said to me, Pastor, it is too late now, you know, it's sentencing time, too late. You can't intervene again. So can I send a letter on his behalf? I don't know. The, the Honorable Judge will accept it at this time. Okay, Pastor, I'll try. Two days later, I got a call. Pastor, the judge said if you want to come to court, you can come. <laughs> My wife bears witness to this and some of you know the story quite well because some of you discourage me pastor don't go you know a gun man business this you could be jeopardizing your family your ministry and you were I understood the concern this pastor living at 14 Kent Avenue got on his knees before God and said God talk to me and God Talk to me from John 10 and verse 10. The good shepherd giveth his life for the sheep. I say, I don't want nothing more. I don't want nothing more. Are you viewing the service, my friend and brother? You know I'm talking the truth. The day I appeared at Supreme Court in Kingston and walked in and stood in the, in the witness box. And lawyers throwing questions at me. Poor me. <laughs> thank God for the Holy Ghost. <laughs> Lift your hand and say, thank God for the Holy Ghost. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> when I answered all I could have answered, the Holy Ghost said to me, just tell them that the man that commit the crime is dead. So Jesus Christ. So you're, <laughs> you're on a the man that committed all of those crimes is dead. And the man was standing right there. And I began to tell them, the Bible says if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. 
future. All things are passed away. All things become new. All that this man needs is a chance to prove that he's been reckoned, d delivered. When I got through the mini sermon in Supreme Court, the judge looked at the lawyer and said, any more questions for the reverend? They said, no, sir. <laughs> Are you not with me here? Are you enjoying this over here? You? Some of you look a little sad over here. Wave your hand and say something. Come on. The man that should have been sentenced walk out of the courtroom with his mother's arm with tears down their eyes. But before they walked out, the judge said to him, do you remember this sermon, friend? Yes, yeah, sure you do. Go home. Love your pastor. Serve your God. For if the reverend did not come for you here today, you would not see hope here again for a long time. Shepherd must go all the way. And all of you gentlemen and ladies with me in this church with all your big titles and big office and big credentials, you are shepherding this flock with me. You must be prepared to make some sacrifice to help the sheep. Are oh, you not saying nothing? You're not saying nothing. You ought to be prepared to make some sacrifice to help me serve the interests of the sheep. And not just a name and a title and an office. When them call you for prayer, you must pray for them. If they want a, a, a dollar and you have it, you can give them, give them. They need a visit, visit with them. They need some counsel, counsel them. You're going in their direction, give them a ride in your vehicle. Somebody praise God, let me bring this thing down here. Shanda Kosata. Hey! Jesus. Somebody said Jesus. Said Jesus. Let me shepherd the flock. Sit down, please. Close in. Jesus. those things about the harling but the harling is also unfaithful to his master because he has no respect for the master John 10 and verse 12 says he see the, sh the, the wolf for coming and him run no respect unfaithful to his master and have no interest in the flock Ezekiel 34, 1 to 3. You can read that when you get some time. Neglects the sheep. Lacks compassion. Shows no mercy. Jeremiah 23 and verse 2. No mercy. None at all. But it was mercy that rewrote. Touch yourself and say my life. Yeah, it was mercy. I should have fallen. My soul should have been cast down. Oh, Jesus. Somebody help me praise him here. But God's mercy reroutes my life. Mercy walks in. Plead on my case. When I stood condemned. God judgment bar. My case was presented. And I had no defense. Mm, that's when mercy walked in. Hallelujah. Give him praise, everybody. Give him praise, everybody. Wow. Echo Shababa. God Almighty, nobody is feeling nothing here. You mean you don't feel nothing at all? Jesus. Let's talk a little about the shepherd and clothes. The shepherd. The shepherd labors out of love. 
Love is the motivating factor. Love. He or she does whatever they do because of love. God so loved that he did more than we deserved. You know when I looked at John 3.16 and 1 John 3.16 Put first John 3.16 on the board for me, gentlemen. Let, let's see what that says. Because that John 3.16 talk about what God did. Uh, look at what first John 3.16 says. This is by the Holy Ghost. If you can't find it, let me turn my Bible and find it. Somebody give him praise and glory. Oh, glory to God. Hereby perceive we the love of God. Because he laid down his life for us. And we ought to lay down our lives for the brethren. Mm -mm. Let that one soak. Yeah man, John 3.16, you give it all on God. First John 3.16, he brings it at our feet. How far are you prepared to go in sacrificing for your brethren? How much are you prepared to do in ensuring the well-being of your brethren? Oh, Jesus. We need 17 too. Let's hear what 17 says. First John 3, 16 and 17. But who so hath this world's good? And see if this brother have need. And shut it up. His bowels of compassion from him. How dwelleth the love of God in him. Well, I don't have to say anything more than that. <laughs> Self-explanatory. Where's the single mother from Spanish now? Did you make it to church? We've been trying to help a single mother to get a job. Are you here, my lady? It's a big church. Wave your hand if you do anyway. Lady, you can't want help and sit so far, you know. Come sit down beside the prayer mothers them down here. So is the Holy Ghost let me remember you here now, you know. I don't know this lady. I told you about the situation. I just know she worked in my community. Driving down the hill sometime, I see her, I stop and give her a ride. Dead stranger. Give her a ride. She acquainted herself with me, telling me about the situations of her life. And all kind of struggles. She had two lovely children. And for some reason, my heart just knit towards them. And I've been helping them. Yeah, I've been helping them. But what she needs is a job. Stand up. Come down. Listen. Come on. She needs a job. She still do any work. She's not an educated office woman. Turn around, lady. She'll do anything to get, do a job. She was giving geriat geriatric care to attorney at law who passed on. So if you have a job, can give this lady any job. She will work. She wants to work. We got a job for her the other day, but she just couldn't take that one because she can't live in. She needs to be there with her two children. Are you with me? So she needs a job to work. All right, go back to your seat, please. So here is it, not a member of this church, not a Christian person. And I can't tell you how much money I gave her since I met her. No, I can't tell you that. See her there, say it in her presence. And how many times I carried groceries and give her. Bishop. You don't even know the woman. Can't, can't do better. I cannot do better. Can't do better. To try to do otherwise would be outside of my general disposition. I'm calling. Yeah, thank you. Let's finish the message. So the shepherd labors out of love. He gives his life for the sheep. 
The shepherd says, he faithfully serves his master. The shepherd faithfully serves his master. The shepherd is tender hearted. And the shepherd leads the sheep wisely. John 10 and 10, Jesus just spell it out. Are you with me somebody? He spells it out. And the shepherd has a heart for the sheep. That heart will cause you to, do, to go beyond the ordinary. To go the extra mile. What is abnormal to others become normal to you. To reach out to help people. Strangers alike. You know the story about the man traveling on the Jericho road. Jerusalem to Jericho. And what happened? And who passed him by? And who stopped? Lift your hand and say, Lord, help me to stop. Help me to look. Help me to listen. Help me to minister. Yeah. Finish, I finish now, you know, you don't know that. All right. Stand with me, everybody. We're going to say the Lord's prayer together. Lift up our hands. I give it to you just as how the Holy Ghost gave it to me. Shako Sanda. I feel the Holy Ghost upon me. Everybody stand, lift up both your hands. The 23rd Psalm. Put it on the board for those who can't recite it, please. The 23rd Psalm. You have a shepherd who cares. His name is Jesus Christ. The son, oh my God. The son of the living God. Hallelujah. Shepherd or hireling. We have a shepherd. Everybody together from the depth of your heart. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not walk. He taketh me beside the still waters. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He Go ahead and worship the great shepherd now, everybody. Come on. Come on, don't hold it back. Don't hold it back. Don't hold it back. Don't hold it back. Don't you hold it back. Don't you hold it back. Give him the glory.
All those sheep in this ear this morning, you are not now in the shepherd's fold. You are not yet born again. You are not yet washed in the blood of the Lamb. I want to pray with you. I got a few minutes to pray with you. Jesus said, I have some other sheep. They are not yet in the fold. Every unsaved, every backslider, every fallen sheep, walk from where you are. Come give your heart to Jesus. Let's go back to Sunday school and sing the song, Jesus loves me, this I know. Let's go back to basics. Come on. Jesus Come on. loves me, this I know. All of you. What do you say? Lift your hands, close your eyes, sing it again. Lord, Every one of us need him. No more than ever. Jesus. Lord, give your life to Jesus, young men and women and boys and girls. 
give it up. Let today be the day. As we enter prior for today. Jesus. 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 Oh my God. <laughs> The Spirit of God yes, ministering God. to somebody. Yes, Feed somebody getting a touch. You need to sing it one more time. Lord, take. Give it up, choir. Anything to surrender? Died for me. Christ died for me. Precious Lord. Lord Glory. Me yes, Lord. Everybody pray. Everybody. Go ahead. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Go ahead. Hallelujah. Everybody. Lord, we worship your name today. Lord, we just magnify you. We just glorify your name. Oh God, you are the good shepherd. Ah, you give it your life for the sheep. Lord, we thank you this morning for your word. We thank you for your servant this morning, Lord. Oh God, indeed, he is a shepherd, Lord. Oh God Almighty, I pray may continue to touch him and restore him. Oh God, continue to bless him, Lord. Continue, Lord, to inspire him, God, as he take care of the sheep. Oh my God, my God, my God, we thank you this morning for your word. Oh, Lord, we pray this morning uh, that the sheep here, that God Almighty, that you'll touch them today. God Almighty, that not one of, one of them leave how they have came this morning. Uh, oh, God Almighty, pour in the oil and wine today, God Almighty. Oh, God Almighty, oh, Lord, 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 you're here today to restore. You're here to forgive. You're here to bless. Oh, God Almighty, you're here to bring back a sheep who has gone astray. Oh, God Almighty, you left the 90 and 90. Oh God, and went out to find the one sheep that was lost. Oh God, give us a heart of a shepherd today. Oh God, those of us who lead, give us a heart of a shepherd. Oh God, to watch over and to care for the sheep. Oh mighty God, those of us here, lead, help us to help our bishop to look after the sheep. Mighty God Almighty, save someone today. Oh God, the sheep has gone astray. Oh God, pull them back into the fold this morning. Oh God Almighty, so a sheep today is contemplating thing leave in the pool oh god almighty let them reconsider god almighty touch their heart bring them back into fellowship let them not step outside oh god of the protective care of the shepherd mighty god hallelujah we praise your name this morning we lift you up we bless you we magnify your lord you are the good shepherd oh god almighty thank you for sending your word to us today for reminding us god almighty uh, that we are in your care, God Almighty, Jesus, hallelujah, help us to remain under the care of the shepherd, God Almighty, sometimes sheep get rebellious, oh God, I want to leave, but God Almighty, pull us back into the fold, help us remember in the care of the shepherd, we are protected, in under the care of the shepherd, we are, we are, we are, we are under supervision, oh God Almighty, thank you for today. Oh, Jesus, save someone this morning. Let someone come to know as Lord and Savior. Let someone come a part of the sheepfold today. Bring back a lost sheep. Continue to sustain the sheep that are in the fold. God Almighty, we thank you for your word today. God Almighty, we thank you for your word. And we know, Lord, that we are in the good care of the shepherd today. 
We know Lord, that we are in the protective care of the shepherd. We know Lord, that the shepherd is feeding us and taking care of us. God Almighty, we thank you. Ah, oh, we thank you, mighty God. Blessed be your wonderful name this morning. We honor and we glorify your name. And we thank you. We give you all the glory. We give you all the honor. We give you all the praise. We thank you, mighty God. You are awesome in this place, mighty God. You are awesome in this place, Abba Father. You are worthy, you are worthy, you are worthy. And we thank you for your blessings. We thank you for your goodness. We thank you for your grace. Bless your name. Bless your name. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yes. Yes, I'm overshadowed by his spotless love. So quick, come on. Then your eyes are closed at the altar. Say this prayer by faith with me. Say, Lord Jesus, I thank you for today. I thank you for your word, richly spoken. I thank you for the Holy Spirit, the convictor of my life. I ask you, Lord, to let this conviction translate to conversion. Where I surrender my life and begin to walk with you. You've said in your word, if I come to you, you will in all wise cast me out. Lord, I come just as I am. Save me by your grace. In Jesus' name, amen. Father, I pray that the Holy Spirit will continue to minister to these lives. O oh God Almighty, open unto them the scriptures so they'll understand your love for them. And help, O oh Lord, that they'll begin their walk of faith from this moment. Knowing that it is not by sight, it's not by feeling, it is all by faith. So touch them now, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Now... Just before you go, we usually love to have a few words with you, seeing you're here. And it's convenient, maybe for us and for you, instead of asking you to go and come back. Whilst we'll have a meeting this evening for new converts at 5.30, but you are here. So the elders would love to meet with you for a few minutes after the service is dismissed, okay? So don't just whoosh out of here. 
go over to the Royal Oasis, it's a nice place over there. They'll spend just a few minutes with you and all those who can come back this evening at 5.30, then you do so because we have vested interest in your well-being. Hear me. You are not a body. Most time we spend time on the body. So you all well dressed up and look nice. Rouge up on this and all kind of something. Well perfume up and well deported. That's wonderful. But let me tell you who you are. You are a spirit. First of all. Possess a soul. And you live in a body. The body is the smaller part of us. You are a spirit. That's the reason you cannot die eternally. This flesh will die and go back to the ground. This is the fragile part of us. You are a spirit that possesses a soul and it, they live in a body. So please, we, we have interest in that part of you above all that will never die. You don't want that part of you to suffer eternally. So we'd love to talk with you. Amen. Thank you so much. You can return to your seats and we are happy to have you. And we hope you'll come again. Amen. Somebody give me a song while they go back to their seat and we prepare to worship in giving. I've got mine, my brother. I've got mine. I have got the Holy Ghost and His Holy to worship in giving everybody every man according to his several abilities so let him give not grudgingly not sparingly not of necessity for God loves a cheerful giver those of you thousands of people out there Facebook, YouTube, Instagram television please find a way to give to this ministry Go to PayPal, go to Subsplash, go to the website, follow the instructions that are there. This is a ministry worth supporting. It's a lifeline for so many of you. I don't hear any amen because I can't hear them. So please find a way to support us. This is our 40th anniversary and we want you to give a special... I want you to give a gift. We have some envelopes given out. I tell these ushers, don't come here one service without the envelope. And see them there? That's how miserable they make me to be. Sorry, everybody. Dear God. <laughs> Hi, baby. Bless you. Ushers, lead us in giving, please. Moses dead, you know, but pray for this Moses, okay? I want to see the promised land. And big man and big woman must behave like big people. I'm yeah, saying the same thing over and over again. I'm sorry. The Lord bless you. Make sure you get an envelope before you leave. Pass one, give me please. Let me tell them who must give. The envelope is for members... Members, visitors, well-wishers, supporters, and friends. 
If you're a member, a well-wisher, a visitor, a supporter, or a friend, get one of these and give your best. We asked for some numbers there. Give one of these numbers if you can. If you can't, give your best. Are you with me? Give one of these numbers. If you can't, give your best throughout this 40th anniversary celebration. Do we have an announcer standing by? You got a few minutes. Please go ahead. God bless you, Bishop. Welcome to the pages of the Power Faith Ministries Diary for week beginning Sunday, February 26, 2023. Greetings came to our Bishop and Minister Davis and the Power Faith family from the following brethren who are overseas. Exhorter Francine Mitchell Beavers sends special greetings to the Anointed Persuaders Drama Group. Let us continue to to keep our brethren overseas in our prayers. Special notices, members who have changed their numbers, please call the church office with your new contact number in order for us to update our records. Also, if you are aware of any member who may be sick or shut in, please inform the church office of same. Just a reminder here, persons who are ready to submit your contribution to the biography project, the man and his ministry, please speak with Minister Troy Patterson or Minister Carol Matthews. If you're having any challenges as well, please speak with the team. In our meeting of the service... No, 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 no. Too much talking, brethren. No, let's do better than that. Please, hold it down so you can hear the announcements. Thank you, Bishop. All members of the Persuaders Persuaded Drama Group Please meet with Sister Rutan in the Multipurpose Hall to take your photograph for the magazine. Also, Sister Perlita Thomas, please meet with Pauline Thomas at the announcer's office. When Jesus and his disciples were invited to the wedding in Cana, no one knew the predicament of the bride and groom. Jesus gave the commandment and the best wine was served. All married couples, both saved and unsaved, are invited to a special event on Monday, February 27th, where the best wine will be served. You cannot afford to miss out on this event, which was created specifically with you in mind. So see you out in your numbers at 7 p.m. sharp in the Children's Church. The sports department will be having a one-day cricket competition. On Saturday, March 11th, singles versus married men. All interested married men, please register with Brother Michael Samuels. And all single men, please register with Brothers Joel Henry or Milton Chambers. The Pope Faith International Ministries Media Ministry will be hosting a sensitization session on Saturday, March 11th at 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. on church grounds. Presenters include lecturers and other professional individuals in a media fraternity. Interested individuals are invited to contact Minister Weston Bryan, Deacon Carter, Evangelist Layton Spence, or Missionary Wade for registration. The Bagwalk Assembly Convention will be on Sunday, March 12th, commencing at 9 a.m. Under the theme, Going Forward, Refreshed, Renewed, and Restored, for we are well able to possess our possession. Followed by four nights of crusade with Holy Ghost-filled dynamic speakers, commencing at 7 p.m. nightly on the church grounds. As we continue our 40th anniversary celebration, the second trailblazing historic event is our 5K walk and run. All members who have taken registration forms, please meet with the team by the Frontier and the announcement office to submit your funds and forms. Come see the outstation churches, elders, ministers, 
prime mothers in their white t-shirts, men with a mission, wow, and not to mention our founders and pres presiding bishop as they too decide to get in the race as the ministry is 40 and fit. Registration closes on Saturday, March 11th, so get your pens and contributions. 2,500 per person and groups of 20 and over 2,000 per person. You might not be able to participate, but you can sponsor a number of persons. So please come on board as we support a worthy and wholesome cause in our efforts to end period poverty. The journey continues. Smoothies and shakes will be on sale. Ladies, 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 this is for you. The Power Faith Ministries International, under the auspices of the International First Lady, Minister Dr. Petrova Davis, and the Power Faith Missionaries Council, presents its annual Ladies Per Breakfast under the theme Empowered and Enabled Women of God on Saturday, March 25th at 8 a.m. through to 12 noon at the Upper Room Sanctuary. Registration begins at 7.30 a.m. Please give your full support. Persons who have payment for tickets, please submit same to your truly missionary Vivian Mary, missionary parish, or missionary Wade. Also, if you have unsold tickets, please take them to missionary parish. Our next baby dedication service will be on Sunday, April 2nd, Parents who wish to have their babies dedicated in that service are asked to take the baby's certificate to the church's administrative office Monday through to Friday, 8.30 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. for registration. Please note that there will be no baby dedication in the month of March. Evie, please. It's your turn. <laughs> Can you set us free? Praise God. We continue in the announcement in our sick and death notices. The following persons have passed away and funeral arrangements are pending. Sister Dawn Kelly and Sister Sharon Grant have lost their sister. Scheduled funeral services are as follow. The funeral service for the late Sister Gloria Clark will be held on Tuesday, February 28, right here at the Perfect Ministries, beginning at 10 a.m. Interment will be in Tetford Cemetery. The Combined Corps will minister. Funeral service for the grandmother of Sister Ashley Carter will be held on Saturday, March 4th at the Stuarton United Church in Moko Clarendon. Interment will be Refuge Cemetery. The funeral service for the relative of Pastor Nadine Brown and missionary Beatrice Bowen will be held on Saturday, March 4th at the Hold Harbor Baptist Church in Hold Harbor at 10 a.m. Interment will be Old Arbor Cemetery. The funeral service for the late Sister Sylvia Bryan Robinson will be held on Tuesday, March 7th, right here at the Paul Faith Ministries, beginning at 10 a.m. Interment will be Medoris. Sister Sylvia Bryan Robinson is the mother of missionary Susan Willow and the grandmother of worker Whitney Cespedes. The funeral service of the mother of Sister Flora Marsh will be held on Friday, March 10th at the Portmore Gospel Assembly beginning at 10 a.m. Viewing commence at 9.30 a.m. Interment will be at Dovecott. Sister Marsh is a member of the Voices of Triumph Choir. Our bishop, his wife, and members of the Perfect family share with those who are ill or have lost loved ones. May you find strength in our continuous prayer. Thank in you. Thank you, announcer. We have to stop now. All right. Thank, Thank you. All right, Bishop. God bless you all. Thanks for listening. Let us pray. Father, bless the offerings given. Bless all the givers. Let everything be multiplied 
our resources, O oh God, and the blessings that you give that make it rich and added no sorrow. Give it to your people in Jesus' name. Amen. Stay for a couple of minutes. Minister Davis has some announcements. Lady, lady, we got a job for you, okay? We got a job. The awesomeness of God. His ways are past finding out. He cannot be fathomed. Glory to God. And he works in mysterious ways. His wonders to perform. Just lift your hands in his presence. And just serenade him this morning. Hallelujah, my God. Hallelujah. We bless you, mighty God. Oh, Jesus, we honor your presence, Lord. Glory to God. Very quickly, I have some very important announcements. Just to remind parents, you have seen the children this morning, and this is just the start for this year. So you have your child or your children, and on Saturdays, we are here to assist you with their spiritual development. We have gone, I mean, in new avenues and ways of, of sensitizing them with the word of God. And they are given the role now where they go and study their Bible um, verses and come back on the next Saturday. So we deal with them at different topics. So we are doing love. And so we are teaching them the importance of love. And we are doing this in different ways. So please... We realize that many of the children are being grown up with this electronic device, the tablets, the phone, and they are becoming very isolated. They don't socialize that much anymore. Parents, tablets and electronic devices cannot grow your children. You are using it to give you all the time that you need. But you are destroying the lives of your children. Please give them a break on Saturdays. Let them come out that we can interact with them. Oh my God. And expose them to the different aspects of life. On Saturdays between the hours of 1 to 3. We meet with ages 6 to 12. And from 3 to 5, we meet with 13 to 19. They don't have to be members of this church. We are here to serve the community. And so you can send them out. And loving, caring aunts are here to assist their spiritual development. So we look forward to having your children as we help to grow them. We are a little bit small in number because some of them are doing the PEP exams. And they have to go to extra classes. So after April, we know we'll have a little better in flock. But you have them and they are not at that level. Send them out to us. We look forward to having them on Saturdays. Praise God. All the newly baptized, all those who were baptized at the Forum um, Beach yesterday morning. We are now going to meet with you in short order as soon as you are dismissed. You just go right across to the Royal Oasis, and that's where we'll be having your class this morning. All the newly baptized, we meet with you right there. And if you're here this morning and you have need in clothing, we have quite a little bit that we gave out some before, and they are clothing out there now, so you can go and select. Don't take it if you don't need it. Allow the needy to get the clothing that are available Praise God. And the membership here, we don't want you to take it for granted. Please, if you do not have an updated passport size picture and your membership card, your membership maybe five years, ten years ago, those pictures are not very relevant anymore. We are asking you, please, please. All right, we are updating the data system. Elder Crichton is now doing a new, I mean, a software for us where we are getting all of our membership 
I mean, getting you all updated so we don't just have a card for your system anymore, but we now have you also on the computer. So we are asking you, please, all members here at Power of Faith, if you have pictures on for over five years and more, bring us a new passport size picture so we can have a recent one of you. Please, all right, and write your name at the full name at the back of the picture because we need to know who the picture identifies. Praise God. And let me see what else I have to say. Okay, also, I've gotten some very special greetings from our brethren overseas. They ask our continued prayers. Minister Kerryon Beckford Thomas and family send greetings to the Echoes of Faith, the Melodies of Praise, and to the General Assembly. We also have Sister Juline and her husband, Mark Blake, and family, to include Sister Shoshana from out of Canada. They send their love, and they also send their potatoes. So they did not just send love, they send their gifts. God bless you, Sister Juline. Praise God. We also have Deaconess Jennifer Gardner out of Canada. Missionary Margaret Reeves, Deaconess Naomi Nelson and family, Deaconess Winsome Sapperton and family, Brother Carlton Thomas and his wife. Everybody knows Brother Carlton. You know he migrates, so he called and sent his greetings. Missionary Juliet Walker Burrell, and she sent special greetings for the Echoes of Faith Choir. Sister Dita Roberts, who continue to be a blessing to this ministry. God bless you, missionary Evan Shaw. She called and yesterday and asked me to greet everyone for her. And finally, Sister Pansy Henry, who continue to be a very, very faithful supporter of this ministry. Praise God. And this morning, I have not been appealing anymore. You have done exceptionally well, my overseas supporters. God bless you. I was able to have given out over nearly 50 computers, um, laptops. I have another five here this morning. Praise God. We have our own Sister Adula Willis. Is she here? Praise God. She's right over there. One of the computers that I will be giving out this morning, she donates it. And she wants to invest in the life of a young person. We also have Sister Hamill out of New Jersey. She gave me two. All right. And the others we have done so. Two of the I would have had seven. And there's yet another one to come. But I have given brother, well, little Jahil Newland. His mother I know well. I don't just give here. If the need arise out there, I also extend. So, Brother Jahil Newland, his mommy called and asked me, and I gave one to him. And also from the Niceville Assembly, a wonderful young lady who I know from, she was little down there in the Grove Road Assembly. Now they are now living in St. Thomas. And she asked me for a computer to which I could not resist because she makes us proud because she's now a university student. And that is little, well, not little anymore, Sister Shanice Reed. Praise God. We, I gave her one also. So two would have, extra would have been here, but I have sent it out there. At this time, Michaelia, are you here? Michaelia, I ask you to be here if you're not here. I'll give it to somebody else. So please, if you're here, come very quickly. And also Gabriel Davy. Gabriel, if you're here, come very quickly. <laughs> Jeremiah. And that is Sister Wright, grandson, Jeremiah, who sings on the echoes of um, the melodies of praise, kiddies. If you're here, come very quickly. All right. And Robert Amnair, you also asked me for one. If you're here, come very quickly and I will give it to you. All right? We give God thanks for you this morning. And God is awesome. Just stand with me as I will do so after the service very quickly. Just because you're the only one here. I'm waiting for the others to come. I'll just dismiss the congregation. All right? Go over there for me too, please. Thank you. All right? And you will be able to greet fellowship while I do the gift 
to them. Praise God. I am healthy, prosperous, wise, and strong. I am God's anointed. I shall live long. I have my abundant life in Jesus Christ. Shall perfect that which concerns me and no weapon that is formed against me shall prosper in Jesus name. Amen. The grace of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. The love of God the Father. The full fellowship and communion of the Holy Spirit the Comforter. Rest, remain, and abide with us now and forevermore. And God's people say, Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. The Lord has spoken. Indeed. We indeed. all say, Amen. Praise God. Indeed, Praise God. a wonderful service. Were you blessed oh, this yes. morning? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Always awesome. a pleasure to be in the youth service, yes. you know. It's great to see the youths in action. action. We have oh, to yes. use them because oh, yes. God has a plan for them. Amen. So we are using them. We are just helping to mold them and to shape them into what God wants them to be. Amen. Wonderful. And we're glad that we were able to connect with you. Yes. So by way of announcements and reminders... We invite you, stay with us, or if you've not joined us in service, join us for Bible studies. Yes. We know our Sunday school, you might know it as, we won't, we won't be able to broadcast it live, right. but then you will not miss. Not at all, you come on down. You will not be disappointed. <laughs> you will certainly, certainly, certainly yes. be able to understand yes. more about the Word of God. Right, in our own little spaces, personal, private, small spaces, you'll understand the Word of God. This year we are celebrating 40, yes. oh my God, 40, 40 years 40. in ministry. Oh yes, Minister Grant, give God The power of faith is 40 years old, you know. How old are you? Oh. <laughs> God is good. And God so we extend good. congratulations to our visionaries, Bishop Dr. Delpha Davis and Minister Dr. Petrova Davis on their obedience and their exemplary leadership. The journey for us continues. Praise the Lord. Yes. And we will continue to serve the cause of Christ. That's why we are here. Amen. We'll continue serving Amen. that cause. Amen. And mm -hmm. so for the entire year, we will be celebrating in various ways. So as time goes by, we will inform you of the various activities and we hope yes. you will indeed continue to give us your support Amen. and of course participate. All right, so keep listening out, keep looking out. You'll hear from us and you'll see the advertisements going. Our first, our very first 5K walk and run event will be held on Saturday, March 18. And this will be held in the environs of Portmore, St. Catherine, commencing at 5.30 a.m. with pre-race warm-up. Warm <laughs> yes! And the event commences at 6 a.m. sharp. Are you ready? Are you ready? I'm Get ready. your shoes. Get your shoes. Get just do ready. your warm-up exercises. Nothing strenuous. Just warm-up. And come on and join us. The event is open to runners and walkers of all fitness levels and abilities. What are the ages? 12 and over, mm -hmm. 40 and over, mm -hmm. 60 and over, you, no one is, is exempted. Left exactly. Out. So <laughs> don't tell me you're not able to participate. Walk at your own pace. Yes. Run at your own pace. Yes. So we invite our well wishers, our churches in the environs, and of yes. course, our outstation churches, our youth clubs, community sports enthusiasts yes. come out in your numbers mm -hmm. individuals will pay only 2500 yeah. <laughs> groups you will be paying two thousand dollars per person so mm -hmm. lots of prizes and surprises, and surprises. <laughs> part proceeds will be in aid of her flow foundation and period poverty amen mark your calendars and make your plans for our annual international convention, April 16 through to the 21st. Of course, we'll tell you more about this as time goes by. And Minister Grant is always a grand time in